now we have it introduced you to the extrude boson base let's look into some other features of extrude boson base before doing so uh, let's re-review the concept of different things called planes okay. we have our ideal planes which is the front plane top plane and the right plane but other than that we can certainly create additional planes or uh, plane of references even the surfaces of the object you have created can work as a as a plane for you now looking into it looking into it let's say you have an object and you want to create a certain design on top of it so you can certainly select any of the surfaces and start sketching on top of it so for example let's say we want to create a cylindrical object on top of this uh, surface so what you want to do is select the surface okay go to sketch and click this sketch button or you can right click on it and click this sketch button both will do so let's click the sketch button and let's create the circle here okay something similar to this i'm not using any parameters or scale for this one i'm just drawing it at random at this moment let's go to the features select the extrude boss and base and we can extend it to the height we require it to be okay as you can see you have created it based on a surface that was on, on top of another object okay. so far so good now we also can do is create planes which are far away from the surfaces or which we can call as a reference surfaces okay so if you go on the feature tab and top right you will see an option called reference geometry if you select that you will see a number of options for now we'll be playing with this option called plane okay apart from the primary three planes which are the front plane top plane and the right plane we can create additional planes so select the plane option okay and it is asking you for several references so the references can be different and you, based on that you can create different type of planes so for example let's say i select this edge here in the object and then select this edge in the object you will see it has created a diagonal plane and then you can start drawing from that plane one thing to remember whenever you're creating plane look into the right side of it you will see that it mentions fully defined that means the sections or the edges i've selected has fully defined this plane that i'll be creating if not that means it's ill-defined and you cannot use those planes okay and there are a number of options also here which you can use if you still see that you have selected something that is not of any use to you you can always delete it so maybe you can select this one and you now you're creating something here uh, a, a new plane here from deleting this you see it has turned yellow and it says select references and constraints so you need uh, this is an ill-defined plane okay now you can also select a surface to create a plane one no now when I, that i have created this surface it also gives an option at how far we want let's say the other object that you want to create has to be uh, let's say 100 millimeters away from it so you can just select from here and just create it if you want to create this plane on the opposite side just click on the flip offset okay and you will see the plane has been created on the other side okay once you're done with this let's say this is the new plane that you want you can click ok now you have a new plane that you can work on and create different sketches so let's say we create a new sketch on this new plane okay uh, let's say we are creating this okay now let's go into the feature and let's go into the extrude boss and base again of course we can create this uh, 
but we haven't explored all the options here. So let's look into the other options. When it is selected blind, you can select the direction where you want and then select the size you want or height you want basically, right? So that's the next option is through all, okay? So if you select through all, that means it will select up till the next object it finds. As you can see, it has stopped somewhere around here and it will merge the results. That means it will create one solid body. If you create select up to vertex, now it will ask you to select a vertex, a point here. So let's say if I'm selecting um, this point here, I've added up to vertex, and I'm selecting, uh, it's hard, this point here, it will go up till that point itself the surface okay now then you have also an option called up to surface so you can select any surface where till when which point you want it to be let's say i'm selecting this surface it will go all the way to till that point itself maybe let's say this surface okay so you can select surface as a re reference of how much height you want from there okay um you can also select up to body Okay, so let's say if you have a solid body somewhere and you want it extended till that point, just select that body and it will extend up till that point itself. Okay, uh, we've talked about mid plane and you can also use the offset from surface. Offset from surface is basically how far away you want from the object itself. Okay, um, so if I'm extending it from this, maybe we can say, hey, uh, maybe we want only 10 millimeters okay so let's say we want it up till 10 millimeters from this selected surface so 10 millimeters and that's it as you can see it is 10 millimeters away from the surface you have selected okay so that's all for extrude boss and base tool